Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to give you all a second just to come back and join me. Don't forget to refresh your screen between videos so you know when I've started the next one. And what we're going to talk about here is a day in the life, what it looks like to be a Beachbody coach and what a typical day for me looks like. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I fit coaching into my day. So I already mentioned to you that I work full time, I have a family, I have other obligations, so I do not, as much as I'd love to, I do not sit here and work on my coaching all day every day. Wish I could do that because it's the fun job. But how do I fit it in? So like I said, I work full time job. So I find pockets of time in my day where I can uh, work on um, returning messages, reaching out to people, following up with challengers. Um, sometimes that's before work, sometimes that's after work, sometimes it's on the weekend, sometimes it's over my lunch. Uh, so it's just wherever I can find pockets of time. And I am somewhat fortunate. I work from home a lot. My job is pretty flexible. Um, I know not everyone has that luxury, but you can find pockets of time in your day. It's a break. It's a lunch. It's, um, it's an hour in the evening. It's some dedicated time on the weekend. Maybe it's getting up an hour earlier working on your business. I know a lot of coaches do that. Um, a lot of coaches do what they call a power hour. I do this sometimes but I probably more often just look for little pockets throughout the day where I'm kind of always plugged in. That's just my style. But a power hour is really taking, uh, you know, one hour of time to dedicate to your um, follow up with your challengers, your um, scheduling posts, your um, returning messages, things like that. So. Uh, you know, one of the things that I do a lot is schedule posts. Now, not all of my posts are scheduled, so don't think it's all scripted. But I do schedule posts for things that I want to be sure that I will share and I don't miss the time that I want to share them. And so Facebook, um, for one, is really awesome. It has a scheduler. If, you're, if you have a business page, so you've noticed I have a business page and a personal page. If you have a business page, you can um, schedule posts through that. There's also uh, some tools out there that lets you schedule posts. For example, like Postcron lets you schedule posts. The free version kicks out to Facebook and you can do 10, 10 scheduled posts um, at a time. And then, But the nice thing about Facebook is you can schedule a million of them. Um, you can even schedule posts in groups that you're running um, on Facebook. Um, I don't think you can schedule post and events. Uh, so anyway, scheduling ahead, thinking ahead, planning ahead. So I plan every few weeks or so, I sit down and have a little planning session with myself where I think about what's coming up. What groups am I gonna run? What theme is it gonna be? I start to get everything together, like graphics around that group, description of the group, get the ads ready to run. Um, Cause I do, I do run some advertising. Um, and then uh, I am ahead of the game so that I'm not scrambling and I get some posts scheduled out so that I'm um, prepared. The other thing to do is follow the four vital behaviors as a Beachbody coach. So this is something that Beachbody really um, instills in their coaches as part of their training and development. The four vital behaviors. First one is be a product of the product. So you don't have to be limited to doing Beachbody programs to be a coach. But if you do the programs and follow the process, it sure helps you um, be a credible source for what you're trying to recommend to other people. So being a product of the product is what works the best. The second one is personal development. I talked about that. Uh, never stop learning and growing in yourself. And the, and the more you um, allow yourself to grow, the more... Um, you'll, you'll grow your business as a person, you'll grow. It's just great for you all around. The third one is engaging and inviting. So talking to people, you know, whether it's live, whether it's through Facebook Messenger, whether, whether it's commenting on posts, just interacting and engaging with people and then inviting them to the groups that you're running. And then the fourth one is recognition, which means shout out people who are doing a good job. Shout out to the coaches under you, shout out to your challengers, um, you know, make it known when someone's doing a great job and really give them that, that, that kudos. 
Um, so for me, you know, I typically uh, will do some personal development first thing in the morning. I also like to use my drive time if, if I'm going to the office to listen to books on audio or to uh, listen to a podcast or a webinar. Um, and then I, I do some uh, like devotional and reading things in the morning while I'm having my breakfast. I obviously I show up every day to be a product of the product. I work out, I drink my shake. That that's a that's a non-negotiable, doesn't need to fit in the schedule thing. It is just a thing that I do. I mean, that is my schedule. Uh, that power hour that I was talking about, or those pockets of time in my day, that's the, those are the times I use to engage and invite. So, you know, commenting on posts, returning messages, sending messages, and then recognition. About once a week or so, I'd like to shout out to uh, people participating in my groups. I like to send notes just saying, hey, you're doing an awesome job. Uh, sometimes I'll shout it out for the whole group. Sometimes I'll do posts on social media that are specific um, call outs. I don't name names usually. I just want to be sensitive to people's privacy but I might share a comment that I got in a challenge group with the name blocked off. Uh, or I might um, just sh just share a story of something that happened with one of my challengers. Um, the other thing that I do, like I said, I, I, I have posts on social media every day. So sometimes they're, you know, fly by the seat of my pants, post as I go. Sometimes they're scheduled. But basically making sure that I'm making my story public. So I'm sharing my story. I'm sharing why I do what I do. Why it makes me feel good. How it might make you feel good too. Um, so I'm sharing. And then I'm sharing pieces of my life. So people start to get to know me. And I hope that people who see my page feel like they know me. They probably know I have two crazy dogs. I have a husband, I have a stepson, I have, um, they may or may not know I have a real like 40 hour a week job because I really don't talk about it very much. Um, but they all know that I like shoes, they know that I um, like wine and beer and food. Um, so those are just some things that, that are pieces in t of my life and you know, the more we share, the more people feel like they can identify with us and the more they feel like uh, you might be the person they want to work with. Um, but ultimately, you choose what you want to share and how. Like I said, this is your business. This is your um, your your way. You don't have to do it the way everyone else does it. I can tell you what's worked for others, what's worked for me. But you, you get to choose how much of your story you share. Uh, there are things that maybe you don't share because you're not comfortable sharing them or you're not comfortable yet. Or... Uh, maybe there's just things that it's sensitive around family or friends that you wouldn't want to share. I mean, I have some of that too. And so there's things I don't get very deep on because it would potentially hurt people around me. So I have to be very careful how I share that. But I do try to give people a glimpse into what that side of my life looks like. Uh, so that's really what a day in the life looks like. And why is it worth all of that activity and that effort? Because it's changing lives and helping people. And when you get someone to respond to the effort that you've been putting out there and they take that step and they say, okay, I want to start. And then you see that light bulb go off and you see the change that happens and you hear them say things like, I never knew I could be this size. I never thought these pants would fit again. I never thought I'd have this level of energy. I never thought I'd find this confidence. I never thought that I could do it. I never believed in myself enough to stick with something. Those are the aha moments that keep me coming back every single time. All right, we're going to talk about the financial side of things. I'm going to end this video and start another one. And we're going to talk about um, basically what kind of, like how do you get paid as a coach and what do the coaching options look like? So that's what I'm going to talk about in a minute. So refresh your screen and come back and join me.